Hi, welcome to G-Labs. Every microcontroller requires a clock signal, which is a continuously running fixed frequency logic square wave and is generated by an oscillator. The signal generally changes between two or more states, with the transition between the two states being very short. This transition is called an edge. The purpose of the clock signal is to help all the parts of the microcontroller to work together. Let's take a PIC microcontroller as an example. Each signal that goes into the microcontroller is assigned into one of the four quadrants, namely Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. The four quadrants defines the instruction cycle, which is the length of time that a microcontroller needs to finish a single instruction, excluding any branching executions. In the first instruction cycle, the microcontroller fetches the instruction from the memory, and then the fetched instruction will be executed on the next cycle. And since Peak Microcontroller has separate buses for data and instruction, it can simultaneously fetch another instruction while it is concurrently executing one. This process is repeatedly done on every cycle. This is called an instruction pipelining. Peak microcontrollers have two-stage pipelining. The oscillator frequency is available from 32 kHz up to 80 MHz. The larger the oscillator frequency, the faster is the MCU's speed. To find the processing speed of your microcontroller, divide the frequency of your clock by 4, which is the number of quadrants in an instruction cycle. So for a microcontroller with a 4 MHz oscillator, its processing speed is 1 MHz. That is 1 million instruction execution per second. But do keep in mind that the faster the speed, the higher the current consumption. So it is best to select the clock frequency that best suits your application.